What's up guys, Awful Waffle here, bringing you a little bit of Katamari Forever. So I've loved this game series for a very long time. Um, it's usually the game that I will go to at any random point. Um, I usually do play first person shooters, but I can always turn back to Katamari and play this. But this is the level where you need to feed the sumo wrestler until he's big enough to take on this other sumo wrestler that's like as big as a house. A little bit of backstory on Katamari, essentially. Uh, in each of these games, something happens and the cosmos disappear. There's also fun little short stories in between levels, but essentially you have to recreate the entire solar system uh, because the evil king cosmos has, you know, eaten it, got lost it um, a few different ways <laughs> through all of the games. But it's super fun and, I don't know, I always go back to this game. Um, I play the I play Katamari Damacy still, even though it's on PS2 and I actually have to go get it out of the closet, hook it back up. It's still my favorite game ever, and of course, the song that you're going to hear after this, it's not the actual song from this level, it's actually from Katamari Damacy, it's called Lonely Rolling Star, and it's my favorite. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to start posting up other games that I play, um, and I figured that I would start with my all-time favorite game, Katamari, where you can roll up the world with pretty colors and funky Japanese music. Alright guys, if you could do me a quick favor before, you know, you hear this awesome track. Um, could you tell me what games you can always go back to, whether it be, you know, 8-bit Super Mario or, you know, chess. I don't care. What What is your favorite game ever and you can always play no matter what your mood? Alright guys, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.